and welcome everyone to Oil Asset of the Day for the 3rd of September, presented by myself, Phil Carr, at the Gold and Silver Club. So first of all, what do you need to know for the week ahead on oil? Last week, we did see a considerable sell-off again towards the end of the week, and we also did see some end-of-month profit-taking. This was particularly evident on gold, on silver, and crude oil as well. A lot of the narratives recently between the US and China and the escalation, of course, in trade war tensions and also the tariffs which have been put on China on Sunday have created some downside pressure for oil. In fact, you can see right now, oil is trading towards the lower end of the range at the moment. Over the month of September, it's actually an interesting month. Normally, the oil price action from a cycle point of view and also from a seasonal point of view does get supported in the month of September. We are looking for a rotation back towards the lower end of the range. So we're looking for a move back towards that 53.50 to 53 US dollar per barrel level. In fact, last week we mentioned with you we were looking for resistance to come in at 56 to 57 US dollars per barrel on WTI crude oil and look for rotation back towards the lower end of the range and then buy opportunities at that level of support. Now it's been interesting as hedge funds and money managers they have reduced their net long positions on oil again in the latest week and of course you can see we gap down on the open and we continue to roll over at the moment with oil back towards the lower end of the channel but you can also see very clearly there are some trend channels here where we have a pennant formation developing on oil where we're likely to get a resolution over the course of this week as to which way oil is going to break out now the usual oil inventories data which is scheduled for Wednesdays at 3 30 London time that will be coming out a day later due to Labor Day holiday in the USA so we'll be looking out for that data a little bit later in the week on Thursday. There was reports on Friday as well that OPEC overall we've seen increased supply over the latest month. That was actually the first month where OPEC have actually gone over the quota. So with that, we did see oil pressure to the downside as well on Friday. We're right back at the lower end of the channels right now. We've also got non-farm payroll data on Friday too. And of course, what you want to watch out for is the US dollar right now. It's trading at two year highs. And the fact that it's trading at those levels, it does put a lot of pressure on not only oil, but also gold and silver. And with the move that we've seen on the dollar, as soon as we start to see some sort of correction and a pullback on the dollar, which certainly could happen later as we progress throughout the month of September, which is normally a seasonal weak month for the dollar, that's where oil could really start to pick up a little bit of momentum. So we're looking at a little bit more downside here on WTI crude oil, taking the price back towards approximately the 53 to 53.50 zone. We are looking for evidence of support. Obviously, if we continue to sell off on oil see pressure to the downside we would then be looking at next major key levels for example 52 and then 50 dollars per barrel but if we get evidence of buyers coming in around that 53 50 zone then at that level we'll be looking for a potential rotation back towards again the 55 56 us dollar per barrel level for wti crude oil and then we'll be looking for a potential breakout as we continue to progress throughout this month but of course keep an eye on thursday's oil inventories data and friday's non-farm payroll so with that that's been oil asset of the day and of course i wish you good trading Thank <music> you.